So welcome to my channel, Food Flicks. My name is Ivis Ramirez. I'm a dietitian, a lactation consultant, outdoor speaker, and entrepreneur. And in this channel, I wanted to share with you about health and nutrition, and actually the basics of health. In the Bible, there is seven principles about health. And then the first one that I wanted to share with you is actually nutrition. So according to the dictionary, nutrition is the science that study how the food is interacting our bodies, how we ingest it, digest it, transport it, absorb it, and eliminate it. But nutrition is so much more. You heard before, you, you are what you eat, and definitely that's the way it is. I believe in optimal nutrition and is actually the key for your health. You only have one body, so you have to be careful with that. Why definition is, nutrition is the energy that moves you. Nutrition is the one that powers your life. So it's really important for you to learn what is nutrition. In this channel, I'm gonna show you not only the principles about health and nutrition, but some healthy recipes. My diet is mainly plant-based like 90% of the time. So I wanted to make an influence, make an impact. I aspire to inspire you to improve your health and nutrition and through the selection of the food that you eat to have more energy, to feel better. And nutrition is important for everyone. Optimal nutrition is the key, not only to prevent degenerative disease, it's just to give you the quality of life and to help you be more vibrant and healthy. So let's talk about the principles in nutrition. In nutrition, there is macronutrients. The macronutrients that we need to eat in our diet is protein, carbohydrates, and fats. And the micronutrients are vitamins and minerals, phytochemicals, and other components. When we say the essentials, means that we don't produce it in our body, so we need to obtain through our food. So why plant-based? Well, do you know that it's an original diet? The original diet in Genesis in the Bible said that what God gave us to eat is pretty much what is natural, plant-based, fruits and vegetables and nuts, whole grains, beans, that's basically it. And definitely more important is water. Water is part of our nutrition and we forget about that. And we are pretty much 70% of our bodies is water. So sometimes if you feel lack of energy, it's because you are dehydrated. So what is the basic nutrition? At least you can have a colorful fruits and veggies every day. All fruits and vegetables. Even though that some people are allergic to those, I just uh, definitely invite you to try new flavors, to try new fruits and veggies, and color your day, color your uh, diet with different ones. And we're gonna teach you ideas that you can do in the recipes that we're gonna show in this channel. The whole grains provide a variety of vitamins, B-complex vitamins, fiber, even iron. And it's important to give you to maintain the blood sugar in your body. And um, one of the things that we want to show you, one of the key in our recipes, is that they are low glycemic index, which means that it's not going to spark your blood sugar right away. It's going to help you to maintain your level normal, not too high, not too low, because when your blood sugar goes up and down in spikes, means that you are start producing more insulin and you're gonna start storage more fat in your body and increase problems with diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure and other problems. So we wanted to show you how to cook without meat, plant-based mainly. And it's important because we know that when you have a plant-based diet, you eat less meat, you are actually helping the planet and you are helping to 
improve the resources on our planet, like water and the, the soil. So another thing that we believe is in eat as most organic as you can, because it's a better flavor, and the pesticides are just contaminating our food supply, and it's, it's not the best. And talking about the optimal nutrition, we want to make sure that you have the basic nutrition. Who has the perfect diet? So in nutrition, it's important to have a variety of foods, a variety of colorful, healthy fruits and vegetables, whole grains, cereals, beans, and nuts, because that is one of the best protein sources in the plant-based diet in moderation. So in that way, we prevent to eat too much calories and we prevent to have definitely obesity. One of the basic things in nutrition is a good and healthy breakfast. You should have a healthy breakfast every day. It's a bad idea to skip the breakfast because, believe it or not, when you skip the breakfast, you increase your weight gain. And that's a bad idea. In the morning, one of the things that you can do is just wake up and after giving thanks to God and start your day, just have at least two cups of warm water with lemon. That helps your stomach and that have your digestive tract to just kind of wake up and be ready for the foods of the day. And wait at least half an hour then to start your breakfast. In a breakfast should always be a protein source. Can be the nuts, can be the hummus, can be beans, because we want plant-based. And then you have you should have whole grains, like whole grain cereals, like whole grain bread. Uh, you can have sweet potato for breakfast, no problem with that, it's healthy. And what we want is to have protein and whole grains in the breakfast to prevent the blood sugar to stay high the whole day. So that's why you should avoid any food that spikes your blood sugar because we wanted to have low glycemic index and that prevents you to gain weight. But the first thing that I want you to know is just never, never, never Skip, skip the breakfast. If what you can do in a breakfast is a smoothie, that's fine. In the smoothie, you can have some organic fruits and veggies like uh, organic spinach with organic apple. And then you can add, if you want a little bit of uh, coconut oil, and then can be water or almond, coconut milk. That's some ideas that you can do. And we're gonna show you some ideas for smoothies. If you are in a hurry, you can do that and that will be perfect. But never, never, never go your day because your productive production is going to be less than you want and you are not going to feel the energy, you are not going to be so alert. Nutrition is important for everyone and for every age, but for the kids it's important because that helps to promote the healthy growth and development. And for them to do good in school, to do good in life, they need to know to take care of their bodies and then you show them with a good breakfast uh, that that's the best time, that the best way that you can start your day. And then some people snacks, and if you snack, shouldn't be anything high in sugar, like candy, sweets, cookies. That seems like sounds good, but it's really damaging your body and then you're gonna regret it later. Because when you gain weight, it's not overnight. It's just little decisions that you do every day and in every meal that you choose that is going to give you the health and nutrition. It's going to help you improve your health and it's going to decrease your health and then start developing degenerative disease. And we just don't want that. For snacks, you should have maybe nuts, maybe some seeds, you can do your own trail mix with some dry fruits, some nuts and seeds, uh, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds that are really healthy and then really filling. And especially this is important for the pregnant moms and for the kids that need a snack. And remember the snack is something light, shouldn't be more than 100 calories that just kind of help you. In my case, I, I, I skip most of the time the snacks and I have my breakfast and lunch. And for lunch, you should have a good uh, protein source, whole grains again, and then um, you should have 
a good calcium source can be almond milk, can be soy milk, especially organic soy milk if you are not allergic to that. And you can have smoothies too, and you can have a good salad. And in good salad, you can have greens and tomatoes and seeds. And even quinoa is a good whole grain cereal that gives you a good nutrition and energy, but doesn't increase your blood sugar. And for dinner, always should be light. Can be a soup, can be a sweet potato with um, salad, something simple. And for those of you that like to eat meat, at least if you have two times a week that you eat less milk, you are helping the planet and you are improving your health, you're gonna feel more energy, you're gonna feel the difference. So I invite you to just be creative, be adventurous in your health and nutrition, and then try to have nutrition. It's not true that you need to have meat in order to have protein and to grow and be healthy. It's not the case. You can have a good iron, you can have good hemoglobin, you can grow healthy, especially for the kids, if you have a good balanced uh, vegetarian or plant-based diet. So that's what I invite you to do. So we're gonna show different ways that we can have that. This is the basic in nutrition, different things and recipes that we're gonna show you. The diet, we believe that is not only what you eat, the diet is what you watch, what you read, is actually with the people that you hang around. So be mindful with your body, what you put in your body, and we are talking about emotionally, spiritually, and physically too. I definitely wanted to encourage you and inspire you to improve your diet a little bit every day. And can be only adding just eight glasses of water with lemon or in, infuse water with different fruits and veggies, like uh, a good water with cucumbers and blueberries, tastes delicious, is refreshing and help you drink more water. The water is really important, so don't forget at least you have half of the weight in ounces of water, that's the amount that you should be drinking, but no less than eight cups of water every day. You can have a complete diet to give you all the nutrients that you need, not only to survive, but to thrive and to prevent the genetic disease. So let's talk about some recipes that we have for you. Hello, welcome to my channel, Food Flex. Today, I'm gonna show you a recipe. It's called the pesto sauce, but it's the plant-based version. I'm gonna tell you the ingredients. So you're gonna use one cup of extra virgin olive oil, one teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna use the pink Himalayan salt. It's called five to nine garlic. I love garlic, but look at how big is this garlic. So I'm gonna cut it here. You can use one lime or lemon, one or two. This is pretty big, so I'm gonna use one or a quarter cup of lemon juice. We're gonna use the recipe call to use one cup of cashew nuts and half cup of pine nuts, but not always you can find the pine nuts. For that reason, I just substitute that and I did a little twist of the recipe and I'm gonna use a cup and a half of walnuts. So you can be creative with that too. And the main ingredients, which is the basil. This one, the one that I used was actually this package that is two and a half and it's organic. So it's around like two cups when you press the leaves, around two cups. So I'm gonna guide you step by step how you're gonna do the sauce. So first you're gonna add the olive oil, then we're gonna add the walnuts. I'm gonna put a little bit of the salt, the garlic, I'm gonna use the lemon, the lime juice. The last ingredient that you are going to add is going to be the basil. So first you're gonna blend these ingredients. So we 
just you don't want it to put it in the blender uh, for a long time we just want it to just have it ready I'm gonna add more lemon when I add plainly the, the basil Remember, we don't want it to put it for a long time, a couple of minutes, two or three. And you can see before the basil, how it looks like it. We're gonna add the basil. Okay. So now I put the rest of the lime. This is helpful to keep it fresh. Okay, so then I'm going to add the rest of the salt, and now we blend everything together. Just use the spoon to move the ingredients down. can tell that we have you can store this in a container pretty much a glass container really seal and can last for up to a month in the fridge and you can put it even in the uh, freezer in the little cubes like the ice cubes and can last you for like six months and you can use a little bit at a time so I prepare this pasta I use the gluten-free red lentil and quinoa this is the rotini and we're gonna do it with pasta. This recipe has two ounces, like a, uh, one ounce to two tablespoon is the portion. And it's around 137 calories, two grams of protein, four grams of fat, but it's healthy fats, like you can say, with the olive oil. Let me put it here. And then this pesto sauce is really a good idea because you can add in different uh, plates. So with pasta, goes perfectly fine. And you can garnish with a little bit. This one is beets organic beets too but isn't it beautiful the color that gives so the plate is ready to serve my guest my special guest Luz she is going to try our pesto sauce recipe before even tasting it the smell the aroma is so delicious Evie's thank you for allowing me to be your guinea pig <laughs> wow that garlic I want to come back. <laughs> so delicious. So good. The pasta is is very good. I wasn't sure the first time I try it. But the pesto, wow. Mm. Another idea that you can have is just in a toast. Organic bread. And this is perfect for lunch, breakfast, even dinner. You can add this to the salads, to soups, crackers, even to a raw veggies. So you can be creative and taste really good. So enjoy your plant-based pesto sauce. Ibis Ramirez. See you next time. I wanted to invite you guys to subscribe to my channel, Food Flicks, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask any questions, and I invite you to give us a like in our Healthy People, Happy People Facebook page, and you can go to healthypeoplehappypeople.usana.com, and you can leave me a message there too, and I try to answer the question or some topic that you want to 
me to cover definitely i wanted to invite you to communicate and then just to reach out and i can help you with that we i believe that not only nutrition is important is a healthy diet a optimal nutrition means that you have a good healthy foods plus the right supplements so we're going to talk about that in detail later for you to know how to choose the best supplement and i share what is the one that i use remember subscribe and i hope to see you next time